Well, what the f was that? What's that? Watching. Watching? Watching. Watching. Are you watching us? What about the barn? My throat. My, My throat. throat. They hung themselves yeah, in the barn. In the barn. You said you were going to throw something at us. What did you want to throw at us? And why? What the f I asked what moved behind us and it said big. What's up guys, welcome back to another haunted adventure. We are here in upstate New York. I am here with my good friends Chizza Chad and brother Frank TV. Hello. Tonight we are at a location known as the Haunted Bergen House. I'm actually not too far from home. We're literally like maybe about an hour and a half from Canada. Just drove down today because Frank called me the other day. He's like, yo, you have to come to this location because it is absolutely incredible. Uh, there's a lot of history here, a lot of paranormal activity going on. Things that include, um, you know, grumpy grandpas, there's children, there's aliens, there's Bigfoot. There's literally a little bit of everything, poltergeist activity, exorcist type activity, all sorts of crazy stuff. So we're going to actually be here all night and uh, hopefully we're going to catch some really, really crazy stuff. Frank has actually been here before and uh, maybe you could just tell us a little bit about what you actually managed to capture. Sure, before. sure. Well, I was here about, about a year ago and what I caught when I went upstairs um, as I was just setting things up and I happened to have my camera which was great because the door on its own closed mm -hmm. in which it was caught on camera and that was just one of the things that happened here I mean tons of REM pod action a lot of activity on the necrophonic and just a lot of stuff that uh, We'll see what we get going tonight, though. Yeah, for sure. So. so there's been a lot of stories. We've actually been here since about 5 o'clock. It is probably about like 9 now. Uh, we decided to wait for the sun to go down before we get into the really, really spooky stuff. Um, I did vlog the actual house during the day. So if you guys haven't seen that, go and check it out on the vlog channel as well at Ange Bona TV. I'll leave it down in the description below. Also, along with both of these gentlemen's links to their channels, please go and show them some love and support and follow them and uh, like, comment on their videos for us. The lady who owns the property has been telling us that since she was a little girl, she's had tons of crazy things happen, like levitating off of beds, uh, being kicked down the stairs, uh, crazy things happening in the barn, in the swamp property behind the house, someone and well, uh, the barn. Yeah. someone was hung in the she barn said as two well. Suicides in the barn. Uh, they see a. Uh, sorry, I mean to interrupt yeah, you, no but uh, she did say they see a uh, like a horse and buggy with two people sitting inside yeah. of it coming up the driveway. Like you can literally physically see it. Mm -hmm. um, also, she told me a story about a bird man who actually landed on the roof of the house. That's insane. So there's crazy, <laughs> there's, like, there's literally like everything. Everything from like... Everything. How about a like, couple of weeks ago, about the, they've caught an actual face. Yeah, yeah they've, uh, they've caught some crazy things here. Yes. Native Americans walking around on the property. Witch, so, witch ceremonies, yeah. insane witches. stuff. Witches, we got witches as well. I mean, Halloween is right around the corner can't at this leave point. Them out. So you can't leave the witches out. But no, uh, yeah, smash the like button, let's... Uh, Start roaming around um, and just basically see what happens. Keep your eyes and ears open. Let me know if you see or hear anything out of the ordinary down in the comments below. And let's get the party started. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So we are just starting out here outside the house. Um, the son of the owner was actually just sitting out here. So he said he, he heard something or the dog saw something out here. So he said the, do the dog or he said mm -hmm. the dog started growling yeah. and pointing at something huh. that was apparently walking around out here. Weird. Okay. So they told us to be careful, to so I do have uh, protection <laughs> in case we run into like a coyote or something. We don't know what's out here right now, but it could be literally just about anything. Wow, look how old this house looks from the outside. That's pretty uh, incredible. If you guys haven't seen the uh, daytime footage on the vlog yet, I'll give you guys a little bit of a tour. There's also the uh, barn back there. The property goes really, really far back. So this is gonna be uh, a lot of fun tonight. Find anything? Hello, creatures of the night. <laughs> I mean, you gotta be careful. There are bears out here too. Yeah, I mean, I... 
don't know. <sighs> okay. And he said somebody was walking around over here, so I don't know. But did he say a person was walking around? I, I mean... I mean, it could have been said, anything, right? <laughs> but huh? she, she was telling stories earlier about yeah. seeing Native Americans walking around. Mm -hmm. And, like, literally physical people walking yeah. around the outside. So we might uh, we might catch somebody on camera in this one tonight. That'd be kind of cool. What room is that? I don't know. So right um, here, this thing like was huge. Yeah. It came like this, and then it just went down and disappeared. Yeah, I, th I saw that too. Kind of. Uh, we were we weren't recording yet, but they do have cameras in every single room what of the room house. Is that? Was it that one? Yeah. Or that one? I thought I saw one in that one. There's one. That is... I can't tell if that's dust though, but that's this room. Okay. But which room is... That's what I'm trying to figure out. It looks like that it's behind looks, the kitchen. That's what I'm thinking too. Well, that. see if you see me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah go that way. There we go. Okay guys, so uh, we are actually just setting up. You see me yet? Oh, there you go. Keep walking. Okay. Oh, is that that? Well, hi, puppy. With that door with the symbols on it? Yeah. Don't forget, they have the dog in the crate. Yeah. In case you bump into it. Yeah, yeah, he's, really he's good. Yeah, so. I think he's good. You good, Bougie? Yeah, yeah the owners have a, a lot of animals everywhere, and they're super adorable. So, yeah, this is where uh, Chad literally just saw a huge orb. There's been a, uh, a lot of history, a lot of things that have happened in this house. And uh, so this was the actual room where the owner, Kathy, levitated at one point. I do think that we're probably going to get the most action upstairs. This room here? Yep. Yeah, right where the there. bunk beds were in yep. there. Oh, so, there were bunk so beds. Were you oh, wow. on the I was bed? on the top bunk. So you were, how old were you when that I happened? was about eight, oh, eight, wow. nine. So this actually, like, you were actually physically laying on the bed and the bed itself levitated? or you? No, I levitated with my blankets. Wow. Jeez. Right Ooh. up off the bed. <laughs> and I was, it took me up off of the bed over the, the side rail and held me about this high in the air with my blankets. Hmm. And my little sister was on the bottom bunk and she realized what was going on and she went and got my dad. And as soon as my dad was visible in the doorway, whatever had a hold of me let me go and I hit the floor. You went straight down on the floor from straight up there? Straight down, yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I felt like I was hit by a car. Mm -hmm. It hurt so bad. No, no. It just let go of me, dropped me. The reason why I was saying that was when I went up there earlier, the vibe up there was actually really, really intense. Um, there was like gusts of cold air coming through and all sorts of stuff. So we're going to use a lot of equipment tonight. Um, I'm going to set up a lot of REM pods. Chaz has, Chaz, Chad has his Ovilus, a bunch of different EMF detectors. And uh, we're going to try and really make contact here and see what the heck is actually going on here at the Bergen house. Um, this is going to be insane. What do you see? Angela? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you saw me on the cameras? Yeah. Uh, anything else pop up on there yet? No, I mean... There was a big moth that just flew by. I saw that. <laughs> There's just some dust and stuff flying around, but that other one was definitely noticeable. Yeah, I saw that. Unless it was just a, like a really big bug or something. I have no idea, but... Well, the reason you could tell is because the bugs don't move like that. I guess so, yeah. You know, they move differently. And you could tell because they have wings mm -hmm. most times. This thing was just... It was nuts, dude. Hmm. I wish I was recording that. Interesting. I don't know, man. This house just gives me like super scary vibes for some reason. Like it just feels really intense. Oh, it's crazy. From like the out. moment we got here earlier today, it was just like I don't know. There's some sort of like intensity to it. Like there's just so much happening, like they said, and they really can't even 100% explain why. Oh, absolutely. I so. mean, <laughs> before we even started, you know. She's over here telling me before you even got here. Yeah. We're just sitting there. She's telling me a hundred thousand stories. Yeah. About everything that goes on here. Yeah. Like, I can't even remember them all. The uh, the crazy thing is when we were setting up earlier here, we heard something. Like to, I heard it anyways. I wasn't even recording, but I definitely heard something. And uh, I did see the the cat kind of scurry through, but I don't see how a cat could make a loud no, bang listen, like man. what we what I, I had heard. Check that. But when we were in that room over there. Mm -hmm. It sounded like somebody literally opened the door, 
and came in because yeah. you could hear it sound like yeah. boots walk. I know I, I remember hearing it and I probably have were you recording no no I don't think initially or I might have been Actually, yeah I, think I, I was. was recording for my vlog so I definitely heard the sound but for I some was. reason like my brain I was so focused on what I was doing that my brain was just like oh I think Chad went like well that's why I walked over here because I was like yeah. oh let me just see if somebody walked in the house but yeah. they were all outside yeah exactly in the camper so I don't even know there is uh, there was no one here the area over here it's like a living room this house is very old like the uh the ceiling needs some fixing <laughs> but um yeah literally every part of this house is considered to be super active got these uh really cool drawings paintings actually over here of these two girls i think they're like a she's a pretty well-known artist I'm gonna go take a look at the upstairs. Hey Chad, would you like a potato? Hey, it's Joe Biden. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, you're not wrong though. <laughs> I'm gonna actually uh, head upstairs for now. Oh, there's the kitty again. So if you guys saw the vlog, you know I was playing with the kitty earlier. Hey buddy. So this is Bash. <laughs> Hey Bash, he's really, really awesome, right, buddy? Any ghosts up here? Did you see anybody? Hmm? Is the grumpy man up here? Anybody up here? <laughs> so, uh, brother Bash over here is going to be hopefully helping us out with this investigation. Maybe he'll uh, react if there's something here. So the last time brother Frank was here, um. Oh, hi. Last time Brother Frank was here, um, he actually caught this door closing on its own on camera. And it takes a lot of force to close this door. Like, it's not something that can just easily happen. As you can see, it's uh, not closing now. Yes? You have something to tell me? <laughs> um have been some stories over here. Brother Frank said that he saw the bed actually depressed last time he was here, as if he saw somebody sitting on top of there. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much the whole house. There's not a whole lot to it. It's an old 1850s farmhouse. And uh, it kind of reminds me a lot of like the Conjuring house. You know, space-wise, um, the layout of it, the style. We do have some creepy dolls here. Well, just one creepy doll. It's not even that creepy, but apparently there's a... Uh, she's been used as a vessel, and the spirits do try to control and take her over. What's up? Did you see a ghost? Hmm? Are you going to help us tonight, buddy? Hey, Bash? You gonna help us try and uh, do some ghost hunting? <laughs> but uh, apart from that, there's also a barn, um, which is like not far from here, so we could probably go there. There's also some mounds somewhere. There has been speculation um, that there are some bodies buried, possibly, you know, an Indian burial ground. Uh, they did find a body of a woman here that had a locket. They do kind of know who it most likely is, but they never really confirmed 100%. Um, but yeah, we'll maybe head over there as well and uh, try and do a little bit of investigation and see maybe who's buried there. They've been told there's maybe about 11 bodies back there. So we'll see if we can maybe, you know, confirm that number again. But uh, yeah, this is going to be very fun tonight. Right, buddy? We're going to have a good time tonight, right? Right, buddy? going to have a good time or what? Yeah, 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 that's the spot right there. Mm, yeah. Yeah, the butt scratches. <laughs> All right, let's get to it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Excuse me. Excuse me. Coming through. Hey, Angela. Yeah. If you need a weapon, uh huh. there's an entire sword right there. What? A sword. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> That's pretty awesome. <laughs> it's a legit sword. It almost cut me. Yeah. So did you come here to investigate or you came to take a nap? I came here to see if I can get levitated. <laughs> True. Well... So if it happens, let me know. That's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> oh my god. That's funny. I hope it works. <laughs> there is literally a legit entire ass sword over oh there. Yeah. That's funny. That'll kill you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are upstairs um, in like a seance room sort of thing. Uh, apparently a lot of stuff goes on up here. We're actually just waiting for uh, Brother Frank to join us. He caught some crazy stuff like I had mentioned up here um, last time he was in the Bergen house. And uh, we're gonna see if we end up catching some super cool stuff. We're probably gonna use a lot of our uh, devices right here to try and communicate with whatever might be with us tonight. All right, let's go. We do have the uh, Ovilus still running, so I have a. Uh, we have several camera angles. We got Chad recording from his angle. I got camera over here, and obviously I have the uh, point of view from here as well. And if anything moves or makes a sound, if any of our devices go off, we will know. <clears throat> Hello, any spirits up here? Anybody wish to communicate with us? You shut that door, please. We hear there's a uh, grumpy old man up here, and he doesn't like when women and children come up here. Why is that? You know what we should do? We have this. Uh, music box over here. We should actually put the music box in front of the door. That's a good idea. Right? I'm gonna set it up, I guess. We have 75 REM pods. Yeah, <laughs> we have like four REM pods going up here. Should I do it on this side or inside the room? Uh, maybe, maybe inside. Like right in the middle? In the middle? So it hovers... Over. Well, I mean, if the door closes... Uh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, so we'll just put that there. Why is it going off now? Maybe it's reaching you? Uh, I don't <laughs> you know. wanna move out of the way? Let's see, let's see if this is you or... So Chad's out of the way now. Okay, yeah, this is weird. Is it? No, it wouldn't be. It's motion activated, so there's no reason I why mean, it... I don't know, I'm just trying to test different things here, just to see, but... I don't know if there's like a way to like reset weird. it. <laughs> Are you kidding me? going on right now? I don't know. Hey Frank? Yes? Come take a look at this for a second. Yeah, I'm coming. Yes? So we can't seem to figure out why this thing keeps going off. I don't know either. <laughs> I don't, there's one that goes off and I don't know if it's a setting or whatever. Is that the, all, the bigger black one? Yeah. I think you're in, you gotta be not in front of it. One of them has oh, like a meter. Like, okay, see, like Frank was literally you know, just approaching funny. us. And that's why it, I moved it, over this. It, way. But it might be sensitive now. Pull, go to the side of that, completely where it's not anywhere near you. Oh, so if like maybe if reset, I'm not close it to it, it resets every time. It's like the REM pod. Now let's see what happens. I don't know. I can't, I don't know if I have to adjust the settings in that thing. I don't understand that thing. I mean, how would you even adjust the settings? I don't even know. I'm going to look it up on well, like the Like, it shouldn't be going off now, right? You would think not, unless something's causing it, something's causing it to go off. Weird. Okay, Maybe it's try. getting your vibration when you walk? I don't, I don't know. I don't think so. It can't be that sensitive. That's what, that's what I okay, meant by look. settings. So I turned it back on and it's not doing anything now. You have it pointed the other way, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. The only thing I can think of is maybe it picked up your your steps when you were moving. 
Maybe he was behind it. Because now, it's not, doing, it, now yeah. it's not doing anything. Yeah. Well, what, how about if you <laughs> walk up to idea. it now? If you walk up to it, well, it's not even picking up your foot. Are you sure you turned it on? Yeah, yeah it's on. Definitely. It's 100% on. It should be. See? Yeah, see, now it's, it's on. Because now I'm in front of it. Maybe it had a, Maybe it had a completely reset. Now it's reset. It's literally not doing a single thing now. That's so strange. Because now there's nothing in front of okay, it. Okay, so let's say... Let's see if it's so actually, let's try and move it back. Okay, so I've placed it there now and it's not doing anything. I know these things let's constantly see I... reset. Huh. So now I'm in front of it and it goes off. Okay. Yeah. That's weird. That is very strange. <laughs> What's it doing now? There's nothing, nothing in front it's of it? It's literally nothing not doing a single thing now anymore. Now it won't do anything unless something yeah. goes in front of it like a REM pod now. So it's almost the same effect. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, that's it. It, I mean, is, it is working. When That's all it had to do was mm -hmm. reset. Olivia, if I sing to you, will you, uh, will you move for us? Olivia. Near. Hey, Olivia, look. There's something out the window. Can that, you turn your head? And is that you, Frank? No, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in the closet. What the? what the hell? The thing is just going off. I mean, how far away does it take motion up? Dude, I was like standing right there and it wasn't doing anything. And we were also literally just standing right here. Yeah. And That's picking you guys up then. No, right? it's it's not. That picks something up, I'm telling you. You guys are moving. It's picking you up. We're no, we're it's not. Here. It's not us, man. I'm telling you. We were literally standing right there. We weren't in front of that. Like See, I got that one set up in. Well, what oh. the fuck was that? What was that? What was that? I don't got no camera light. Nothing. What the hell? Does something just like kick your REM pod off the thing? I don't know. I can't I see. Know, I this... can't see nothing in here. Oh, this hamper thing fell over. Let me get my leg. Damn it. Wait, how did it fall over? Wait. It's probably the vibration, probably not the hamper over. I don't know. Vibration from what? This? Well, that's not a hamper. Damage that friggin' thing. Let me just make sure. Huh. Get off the hamper. Let me make sure it didn't land on right. its friggin' wires. I had them set up so nice. What the? Oh, oh the. The laundry basket? Yeah, I have a laundry basket. I don't know why that laundry See? basket knocked over. It shouldn't have. Bro, that thing should not be going off right oh, now. Wow, Chat. That should not. There's no way that that should get knocked over. Why is that still going Dude, I'm telling you, there's something happening right now. Like, that thing is going off. The hamper fell yeah, over reset. for some reason. I turned that one off, and yeah. then finally I turned it on, and it reset. Now you have to go in front of it. Perfect. I mean, that I just took set. one step and it went off, but I'm not in front move, of it. Move again? I'm just trying to debunk this, but clearly it's this, not this, working. This yeah. is going, I don't know why this yeah. keeps going off. Not even touching it or nothing. I didn't even okay, move. That's I'm not even moving. Down. I don't know why that knocked it. It should never have fell off from the position it's in. Never. That was, that was pretty wild. <laughs> it's never a camera. That This is I, where... I recorded, but I was from. I was over there. But this is where a tripod yeah. would have caught what that. Why are you not in here? Is moving. Which tablecloth? The, the, table the windows might be open in there. I have my other camera in there too, so All right. I can uh, check the footage after. All right, guys. Go in front of you. There was literally no other way to do no, it. Can you make the rocking chair rock? Voice box right there. And I have a REM pod right here. As you know, that's the only way it can go. I'm telling you, man. There's something there. <laughs> I know you're near the door. Go in front of it. There's no way that that can go off unless something... And this is uh, believed to be a portal in the house. So this room is set up with a REM pod. And so how did you have and the, the uh, ghost portal? How did you, you have the hamper set up? Almost similar to that. Right now, we, we had to reset it because something knocked down this hamper. Completely knocked the hamper over. So I just got done resetting it. Of course, I didn't have a camera turned on that caught the I don't know why it got turned over. 
but now we've reset it and everything is back up again. All right, that was bizarre. All um, right. Yes, bizarre is the only thing we can say. If we have the new if you are meter. If you are standing in front of that doorway, give us a sign. Another ghost. Show us that you're here. Right there. Can anyone make these devices go off? Any? The ghost box, the EMF meter, the REM pods? Ooh! Ooh! Is that that one? No, I think it's in here. No, it's in there. Something in there went off. One by the doll was going off earlier. Oh! oh. Ooh! We just, just got done asking it to do Which it. Which one is it, though? I don't know. Alright, we're walking around this thing. Holy cow! Alright. Grumpy old man? Where are you? What was that? I don't know. It's sort of like a tapping sound over here. Why does this thing keep going off? <laughs> it literally makes no sense. It just keeps going and going and going. Right? Like, dude, like, we're not moving. Like, we're literally not doing a single thing. We're not moving. He's behind it. Yeah. He's not even close to it, actually. I'm not sure why. Or her yeah, memory of it. That's what I was going to say. Maybe we should take that thing and put it off the floor. Yeah, it's just, it... it's strange because like there was no movement or anything over there and it just kept going repeatedly and now we move it here and it's perfectly fine. I don't know if these things are right. picking up vibration at all. I don't think so because, let's see. Because that's now on a little nope. bit of a carpet. I don't know. Like I'm literally jumping at this point and it's so not doing it's, anything. So, not that. so we know that that's not what it is. I guess tonight is going to be a little bit about uh, experimentation. I think so. <laughs> We're trying to I learn so. some new things here. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, so far, so good. I, suppose. I mean, it seems weird that it would it just be going off. Seem to be working. Well, now, it's, well, now we know it's not working right here. Mm -hmm. So why don't we put it back over there and see if it goes off again? Maybe it's just that one area. I mean, I don't know. Move it. Let's see what happens. All right. In front of it. Oh. Please relax. Hello. Which oh, the doll. Oh. Where is that? What is that noise out there? It's the REM pod. The REM? Which REM pod's going off? The one where the doll is. Can you move your head and look at me? Please? Please and thank you. I came from a very far place to come and see you. A place where we have. Goosesses and moosesses. <laughs> ah, this is weird. It is. Dude, why does this thing keep going on? Are you, are you kind of in front of it? No, or? like, I'm pretty far. I mean, like, it's I don't been know. going off since, since you placed it there. For some know. reason, that I, one spot, it just keeps going off. What if we put the ovulus next to it? We could try that. Right? You can talk to us using this. <laughs> I'm going to just turn that off for a second. Because it's just like, it's going crazy for no reason whatsoever. Maybe, uh, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe, maybe move the REM pod here too. Let's see what happens. I mean, it's not doing anything now. Yeah. Maybe well, that's because I turned it off. Maybe. Oh, you did? Yeah, I, I literally switched the whole oh, thing yeah, off. Yeah, maybe that box can, uh, we can put it in a location where, like over here, I have it pointed towards the portal. But the, Something, none of us will interfere Happen. with it whatsoever. Battery died? No, she's dead. Man, this, this no juice? <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah. Now I gotta go change her. Yeah, we've been up here for like maybe half an hour and this thing hasn't said a single word. Nothing. Duty. Oh. Oh. Duty being. To say being. There hasn't really been anything relevant yet on that. Anybody uh, got anything else to say? Alright, so apparently we're trying this uh, new app. What's it called? Spirit Hold Walker? Hold on a second. Let me, blot. Let me get my thing uh, on It's called Spirit Talker. Alright guys, we're going to try this new app that Chad has. It's Spirit Talker app. I've never seen it, but we're going to see if we like it. We'll end up adding it to ours as well. Go ahead, Chad. So is there a grumpy old man up here? Sometimes it takes a minute for the words to come through. Watching. Watching? Watching. Watching. Are you watching us? 
Is that a word or is it telling us that it's watching us? It's probably telling us that it's watching us. Huh. Yeah. Beautiful. Who's watching us? Can you give us a name? Still have your ovens going somewhere? Uh, it's out there somewhere, I think. Yeah, everything just Why went completely quiet. Where, where is it exactly? You remember closing the door? Killing. Did it just say killing? What did it say? Killing. As soon as I open my mouth, that's the first thing it says is killing. Who's killing? Did you kill someone? That might have been me from uh, stepping back. It sounded like it was like right out there. Is that doll's name Olivia, you said? Olivia. Olivia, are you doing something? Can you make that REM pod go off, Olivia? That doll, man, it's just something about that doll. I don't know, this thing. Oh, George. it said something. George. 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 George is here, man. I did ask for a name. Yeah, you did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Angelo asked for a name. Who's George? Yeah, it gave you a name. Uh-oh, what is that? It's one of the REM pods. Is that Olivia? That's Olivia. Yeah. Yeah, Olivia, thank you. You guys hear the REM pod? We asked her to hit it, make it go off, and she did. Thank you, Olivia. Thank you. See, I'm zooming in, guys, so you can see the red light there. I have no idea where you put your off list, by the way. Couldn't figure it out. Wow. And you guys heard it loud and clear. We asked Olivia to make the REM pod. Uh, and she, <laughs> wow, it's still going really strong. Yeah, Thank you. It's in there. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Oh, Olivia is. Uh, see if that's they right. found it? Activity. Look at that. You think. Said activity. Said activity. How did that happen? Yeah. Look at all the activity we're getting. And at the same time, Olivia, thank you. Is that, that was freaking weird. Look at that. Like I kid you thank not, like you. the whole camera literally just fell right out of my hand. Yeah. A little blurry, but that was weird. Activity. <laughs> thank you. You are beautiful. Jeez, now it's going off a little. I'm just gonna drop that right there. Is that window open? It's us. It's us. Whoa. Oh, the spirit. It's us? It's us. Who is who are us? Who are you? It's oh boy, Olivia. Going buck one. Oh, the EMF meter started going wild. Crap. Everything. Look at that. Alright, who's us? Wow. Wow. What are you it's think? still going on? Yes. Strong. Olivia, beautiful. Wow. Where is the temperature? Oh, goodness. Well, I, so I was wondering you. I like music. Wow. Oh, the music box. That was awesome, man. What was oh, maybe they like the music box. You, we took it off. Earlier I said I, I was going to sing to her. Did you? Yeah, I was kind of like singing to her. <laughs> and yeah. I said they like music, right? I fall in love with you. Yeah. You like music, Olivia? Apparently that thing just said, we're going to, what did it say? I'm going to get you? Window. It said, he'll get, he'll get you. He'll get you. And it just said window. Window? Uh-oh, somebody's going to take a shot over here. <laughs> There's the window. Are you I'm standing by standing the window? Right behind it. <laughs> wow. Crazy. What, which window are you There we go. Olivia, we're not, thank you. She doesn't want to be left out. I'm guessing it's uh, Olivia because she's by Olivia. the window, right? 
This keeps spiking all the way to yeah, red. Yeah, look at that meter going buck wild, man. Holy cow. Yeah, hey, who's going to get us? I don't know. Click on. What did it say? Pagan. Pagan. It said, it pronounced it Pagan, but it's Pagan. Pagan. What if you make this one go off for oh, us? I would love to. I've been waiting for that to go off. That's a stingy one, boy. So that's see. EMF as well, right? Yeah. Let's reset. See the colors? Let's reset mm -hmm. this. What the hell? And then let's, let's reset this one, see if anything happens. Something like this. K2 meter. What happens if we go walk around outside? Are we going to see anyone? Oh, that thing's to the red when you're saying that. Yeah, I can see that. Wow. You don't want us going outside? What about the barn? My throat. My, My throat. throat. They hung themselves yeah, in the barn. In the barn. They, you people. said go outside, can and you they said, hung themselves right by the throat They the hung themselves in can the barn. Can you tell us what happened to your throat? Can you be specific and tell us what happened to your throat? Move that one and see if we get something right there. Oh no, look at even no, on the bed there. This one I can't. It's not get. near any of the other stuff yeah. no. either. No. Look at that. Oh, that Battery. one is starting to move. Look, look, it's starting to move. Oh, look yeah, at it. I see that. Wow. Oh, that's nice, man. When that all the colors go off on that, look at that guy. You see the look at that. Oh, it's going all the way up. Yeah. Look at it, both of them going buck wild. Oh wow! Let's cut our lights. Let's see how nice that really looks when it goes off. Cause that is. It cool. said battery, so maybe we look, just look, look at that. Cut our lights. Yeah, look at that spiking over there, dude. Wow, Olivia. What happened to your throat in the barn? Wow, that is cool. Look at those friggin' colors. Yes, it's me. Yes, oh, it's me. it is you. It is. He said, yes, it's me? That's in reference to who? Olivia, I guess? I don't know. Maybe that's in Maybe reference Olivia. to Olivia. Maybe. Making the REM pod. Olivia, that's you? Can you make the REM? I see the REM pod turning colors in there. It's not making a noise, but I could see the red fluctuating mm -hmm. from here. Wow. Who's me? Who's the name of the person? Or there were two people that hung themselves in the barn. One was a kid. The, Olivia, thank you. Look at that. Olivia's like, that's don't crazy. count, don't count me out. <laughs> you hear that, guys? That's where Olivia's rum pot is. That's amazing. I'll tell you what. Can you tell me what happened to your throat, please? Does it hurt? Is that where you were hung? Is that is that why it, it, it's, you're saying throw? Because you were hung in the barn? I'll throw something. I'll throw oh, something. I'll uh -oh. throw something. All right, please what throw something. What are you going to throw? Huh? Oh, you know what she was saying? Hmm. That they They're, like to throw things. The, the, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Apparently. In, in, the, in the barn... There's uh there's like a, a bad spirit out there that throws oh, the rocks. Yes, the Kathy rocks told the us, yes, yes. That, that there's having... a spirit that throws stuff. Throws rocks yeah. onto the roof of the barn. If oh. we if we go to the barn, are you gonna throw something at us? I thought I heard something. I'm I moved, I don't know if you No, like it sounded like something either moaned or someone spoke or oh. something. It sounded like a I don't from... know. This is just Definitely getting some good stuff, and that is even hadn't worked all night, and that's given us some nice colors too. Wow! Yeah, these answers are like completely relevant to all the questions we're asking. They're about they're the right barn. in the ballpark of everything we're asking. Maybe we should go to the barn. Maybe. Agree. Agreed. Agreed. So you do want to go us to Agreed. go to the barn? <laughs> you, you see that, guys? Agree. Chad said maybe we should go to the barn, and it said agree. On point too. And I just showed it to you. Who's at the barn? Wow. I'm telling you, you gotta download this. It's crazy. Yeah, and it's I can't believe how relevant it is. It's not like it. It's not even like a little bit off. It's spot on. 
Wow, guys, we're definitely going to add this in. Can you tell us who's at the barn, please? Wow. And we haven't even gotten anything in here. Jeez. What are you going to throw at us if we go to the barn? Nothing on the ghost box. Nothing, you know, just the, rocks. In the portal. <laughs> <laughs> you know, logs Anybody and stuff. the ghost box or the, the REM pod go off in the portal? Oh, crap. Olivia, you got that kind of power? Can you make... He died. He died. He died. Who are you referring to? I don't know. Yeah. She said... He died, maybe George. Originally said George. Was her name Kathy? She said that, um... There was one female and one male that died hey, in the barn. You got a memory like an elephant, bro. You remember everything. She said one You're female right. and one male. You're and right. The male That's was a, was a young kid. She said around like in his teenage years. I bet, you if, I bet you if Kathy was up here with us, she would be able to put put that all together for us. Probably, yeah. Easily. It's almost tempted to like. Oh, go to, she if we told go to, me his name. To, if you go to the barn, it's almost tempting to like say, "Kathy, would you come in?" I think she said she Robert. Maybe in. Robert. I think I can't remember. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't remember. I think she did say Robert. Wow, that's fantastic. Are, that was a great session. Robert, are you in the barn? Should we go there? Down. D down? Down. Down. Like, downstairs? Like go Are you trying down. to tell us to go downstairs? Go down. Everything is pointing to the barn. Go down we'll, to the we'll barn. We'll go downstairs. Let's see. Let's see what we got going on down wow. there. One of our like little elemental oh, yep. type spirits likes to hang out in this room. Oh my god. Is um, this, uh, that's the one you were talking to outside. Oh, <laughs> hey. I didn't even see you there. He came in to get some dinner. Um, appearance of kind of like a spider. Hmm. It has human head, arms, legs, but it has like six arms. And it's about this tall. And, oh, I'm sorry. You're good. And the very first investigators we had here, um, he was outside watching his investigators on a camera. They were in here trying to contact the German family that was here. And he actually saw it where you're standing. And he said it crawled up and went across the ceiling and just hung out in this corner for a little bit. And then it just like kind of melded into that corner. Now, Right above us is one of the two walk-in closets in that room with the portal. Hmm. And he came, I was still living in Batavia at that time, it was before we moved back here. He came and got me to, to unlock the house, and he had one of those little machines there that you have in your hand. Mm -hmm. And he had it about here, and the thing went all the way over, as loud as it would go, and just stayed there, and even when he had it up in the corner. And uh, there's a little girl, out, Emily, Emma or Emily, um, I'm not exactly sure, I couldn't really hear it too well, but um, a lot of times she'll be out here in the kitchen with me. If I'm putting dishes away, sometimes she'll open a cupboard door so I can put the dishes in. Now this, this, this door here, I was going to throw it away because there's so many holes in it and it's so beat up, but I decided to keep it because this is actually another one of these stories. Now when... All of us girls got married, grown up and married and moved out. My dad turned the upstairs into his man cave. He took the bedroom wall down. He had a big pool table up there, a fridge. That was his place to go. Now, my two older boys were out there playing pool. And this door slammed. Now, you've seen my boys. They're good-sized boys. They couldn't get this door open at all. And we close it with a brick because it pops open. It's The house is just settled, and, you know. But, um... They found an old metal Coleman cooler that my dad used to take ice fishing. And they put a bunch of old encyclopedias and stuff in it that they found. And they were using it like a battering ram. That's where these holes came from. And they still could not get the door open. All right, who's down here? Anybody down here in any of these rooms? Can you maybe uh, knock where you are? Give me a knock sound. So I can head in your direction.
That's weird. My camera is like picking up a person right here. It's really still doing it. Yep. Is there somebody standing in that corner? Can you make a noise? Move something? Throw something like you said you were going to? back upstairs. I'm not really getting anything down here. It's interesting. I don't know if it's telling us to come down here or maybe it meant to actually go to the barn. I have honestly absolutely no idea, but we're going to keep trying. Wow. All right. <clears throat> George, how, what's going on, buddy? What's going on over here? It just turned on the necrophonic and it already said the name George like yeah. a spirit talker. George, are you here? Kind of quiet. Can you say our name? So the closet is supposed to be a portal? Is that what you Yeah, you that's what uh, consider. We're going to stop this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank what you so much. one of us goes to sit in the portal? Like, one of us being me? <laughs> yeah. So we made it to the barn. We're getting uh, set up here with a bunch of devices. And uh, REM pod is going off. That's weird. Yeah. Right away. Too. Didn't take much. Look at that. Pull up and it's already going crazy. Look at that. Hmm. What if we try the uh, SB7? Yeah, see if somebody one. comes to... What's that? The, uh, it's the spirit box. You want me to shut that off? No, you can keep it on. Okay. Oh, we're going to go to the uh, spirit box, guys. Regular spirit box. All right. Who's here in the barn with us? Nancy? Who's Nancy? There's something trying to come through there. Hey Nancy, are you one of the people who passed away in here? Where was it that they uh, hung themselves here? Right here. Um, here, right here? No, right, so, like in the center? Yeah. Right, see where that pole is? Yeah. Right here. Oh, right there. Oh, wow. Whoever invited us in here, can you come and make yourself known? You can use this device here to talk to us. Anybody want to talk to us? What is that? Uh -huh. Who's here? I'm gonna take? I think that's what it said. We got Chad here who's uh, trying to use the SLS. Are you getting anything on that? I'm getting cranked right now, but I'm yeah. just keeping it pointed right at the uh, oh. area where she hung herself. Mm -hmm. There was someone that popped up when you weren't there. Right by where that table is down there. Hmm. She said something about that window one time. Says you take pictures. Take pictures, that's what it is. Yeah, and you see uh, faces. 
Can you tell us why the house is so haunted? Why the property is so haunted? We've got something? Anyone? Oh, is it still there? Just watch. It keeps popping up, but at the lower part of the pole. Yeah. Can you come back? Is it the spirit talker again? No. no. This is the SLS. Oh, okay. Can you move to the left some, Frank? Oh, thanks. Yeah. Just yet now, your light was just reflecting it. Oh. Hmm. Can you come back? I hear that people have seen you hanging yourself. Was it somebody named Nancy? Right by that pole, right there, is where she hung herself. Hmm. I saw you earlier. Can you come back, please? back on. Are you going to throw stuff at me and Angelo? If you're going to throw something, do it now. No need to wait. Why are you so quiet all of a sudden? Where in the barn are you? <clears throat> are you over here with us? Are you at the back of the barn? Down there where I'm looking? What the hell was that? Oh, no. <laughs> Frank, are you okay over there? Oh, oh blood got him. <laughs> <laughs> Is it George? <laughs> Do you have uh, nothing else to say at the moment? Oh. Got something? They're kind of like popping back and forth. Oh, they're there, they're there. Yeah? Where's the lady who hung herself? Is this still showing up on your screen? It's on that table. I don't, it's got no head either. Hmm. It's kind of weird. Is there anyone back here? Please show yourself. We want to talk to you. What the hell was that? What are you going to throw at us? What are you trying to throw at us? Are you angry at us? What? That's so bizarre. Oh, you got something? Yeah, look. Oh, yeah. Sometimes it has a head and sometimes it yeah, doesn't. I saw that. 
and it's just been Which like might happening. it kind of makes sense because if they hung themselves then you know maybe that's why the head is missing i mean not that it would fall off but I, it, like sort of symbolic in a way maybe yeah i mean according mm. to kathy you should be able to see the figure on the sls of the lady hanging up there are you hanging there right now All right, guys, it's, uh, it's been a little while, probably about an hour. Um, we got some stuff, some good stuff upstairs. Um, it's gotten a little bit quiet all of a sudden, so we're going to wait a little bit and uh, try again maybe uh, after a little break. All right, guys, we have made our way back up after a uh, little break. Um, Brother Frank unfortunately had to go home because he's like literally four hours away from here. So he's got quite a bit of a drive. So he headed home and uh, it is just me and Chad now. Um, what we're going to try and do is more of like a seance. We have been getting stuff pretty much all night. Um, but I do kind of want to get more because I know this place is supposed to be extremely active. Maybe it's just been, you know, sort of a whatever sort of night. Maybe it's just ghosts are tired tonight. I don't know, maybe they're on vacation. I have no idea. Um, but they're definitely around. Like, the vibe in here has been pretty intense. And uh, I just do think that we could get a little bit more. So we're going to try a little bit of everything and uh, maybe invite the spirits to do more than what they've already done at this point. So I do have my uh, sound recorder hearing and have that going pretty much the entire time as well. Let's see if we manage to uh, get any noises. Alright. Alright, spirits. Um, like I said, we invite you to come forward and talk to us. We do have the cat in here as well, so <laughs> if you guys are hearing some like random thing moving around, I'm pretty sure it's just, just Brother Bash. We'd love to communicate with um, whoever seemed to have targeted Kathy many years ago. Not even many years ago, repeatedly over time. Maybe if you want to come talk to us. Hey there, what's up, buddy? <laughs> Jumping over there. <laughs> <Freaking> cat. Bash. <laughs> we have uh, this device here. Grand. Is George here? Now we've gotten a few names tonight. Nancy, which apparently there is a relevance to somebody named Nancy that does come through. They're not quite sure who this person was. Then we had George, who is a very popular person around here. Who George, else did we George get? George was confirmed and uh, Joseph was also confirmed. Joseph. Coins. Are you asking for an offering? Is that what you'd like? I have some money. Would you like some money? I have a dollar as an offering. If you actually do something, I'll give you the second dollar too. Maybe if you can uh, close this door behind me. Oh, it's just Frank talking Frank, to them. Yeah. He's still out there. Yeah. So apparently Frank is still outside. <laughs> <laughs> Hence the uh, the person. Duty. That is the second time we've had the word duty. And it's not the duty duty. <laughs> Ali. We also got Ali. Who is the Native American? That's a good question. That Nancy has seen. Not Nancy, Kathy. I think that's them outside just moving. What if we try the uh, spirit box? We're going to use this device, it's called a spirit box. It's going to scan through frequencies and it can allow you to choose a word from your realm, from your side. Please come talk to us. Okay. Okay. I heard okay. I got okay. 
<laughs> Do you like it when people come to try and communicate with you here? Is there a Bigfoot on the property? It's not really, not really accurate. Is there a portal here? Me? Oh, me. Me? Hey, George or Joseph, can you say hi? Is there a portal in the room behind me? What would happen if I stood in that portal? What do you see when you go through to the other side of the portal? Someone. I got three words, but... Deceit? Seeds? Sneak? And come. Coffin. Bones. What the hell? Are there bones in the backyard? You did mention about those things that the things are graves back there. Copper, amulet, bell. What did you say was the so many words all of a sudden coming through? What the hell? Did I just say my name? <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. You were kinda of talking at the same time. Yeah. Probably. Probably. Confident. Hi. Poltergeist. Poltergeist. Yeah, we literally just got poltergeist. I don't know if you guys can see right, that. Alright, so can you do something? Dude, it literally just said graveyard! Graveyard? Yeah, look. Justice. Justice. Didn't she say something about... <gasps> Dude! The oh my god! Dude, it literally just said 11. Catch that before it goes away. 11. 11. Do you remember what she, she said, said when we first got here? 11 graves. She literally said there are most likely 11 graves. 11 We're asking graves. about... If there are any bodies in the backyard, it says graveyard, it says and it bones. gives us 11. It says graveyard wow. and bones. Um, it says addition, meat. Also, it's crazy that it said justice, mm -hmm. because she was telling a story about the... Um, about the three Native Americans yeah. who were all justices. Yeah. It's crazy, because there's literally, like, so much that's here um we are getting some responses now so we might as well keep going what happened to the 11 bodies that are in the backyard did they naturally die did they um did someone murder them trap there's a trap nearby Stomach. Do run. Noun. Do Below. run. Below. Below. This is getting really creepy. Well, I mean, dude, we've been getting nothing on this all night, kind of and then all of a sudden I hold it. Maybe I'm like channeling it just because I'm like holding it. I mean, she. She didn't confirm. Mm -hmm. That those were actually graves back there. She yeah. Just said that she they don't it. know, but it's been. But dude, what are the odds that she would literally say eleven 
bodies, essentially, bones, and a graveyard, and it would literally come up in that exact, pretty much almost that exact order on here. Like, that's wild. 11. It's probably the cat. Bash? Hey guys. Oh my god, you scared the shit out of us. Hey. Me to scare you. It's okay. So, you said that there was 11 graves yeah. back there? That's what they claim. Yeah, we just, we were asking about it and 11 came up on the obelisk. Yeah. It said Bones Graveyard uh, 11. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. So there you have it, guys. Yeah. Straight from the horse's mouth. And uh, she essentially confirmed it for us that there were, um, as far as she words. knows, that there was definitely 11 bodies buried on the property. And the justices of the peace living here. Right. Several justices. The graveyard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's all confirmed. Is there anything else you guys want to tell us? I, I'm curious as to how you... Missed. Once. Ooh, it said missed. Remember what she said? They, people have often seen mists here. Paragraph. If paragraph v. v. Can you appear as a mist somewhere up here? Or a shadow? Is there a mist with us? Some type of entity that is like a mist? that was outside if I come into your portal what's gonna happen to me are you gonna communicate with me when I'm in your portal Make a sound from inside the bedroom. No more words for us. Just literally went silent on here all of a sudden. Never mind, I take that back. <laughs> we got draw and screw. Draw. That painting right there? Mm hmm She said she drew that. Oh yeah, that's she right. Was a kid yeah. Of the original house. And then there's this one too. There's the uh the woman in red. Yes, yeah. Who is the woman in red it. in the forest? Is she a witch? February. February? Not quite February yet. We are getting there though. All right, I'm gonna go into your portal. I head over the portal. Let's go see what happens. Yeah. Hey, uh, I'm in the portal now. Where you, how did those even fall over? Were those like that when Frank originally set those up? Do you remember that? Let me see what it looks like. I don't wanna knock your camera over, yeah. but they, at no, I don't remember what they look like. Yeah, so somehow earlier we were all up here and we were kind of like getting ready and these things literally just toppled over yeah. with his like thing. He put on something it. on top of it, yeah. but it wasn't enough to like knock it over completely. I mean, the word poltergeist came up on here. Do you know what poltergeist is? Can you come talk to me while I'm in the pol while I'm in the portal? You said you were going to throw something at us. What did you want to throw at us, and why? I 
this. I guess the story was that the Bigfoot, quote unquote, I guess there was two of them, and they were throwing stuff at people that were mm -hmm. investigating in the barn one of the times. So I guess there have been like Bigfoot sightings. I don't know. I've feels, never seen it. It feels really, really weird in here. What does it feel like? I don't know. Just very like heavy. Like there's like something almost like trying to like weigh me down. I don't know how else to describe it, but you want to come sit in here? That's probably just me. <laughs> <laughs> Let me put this on the floor over here, actually. Right. I heard there was somebody angry up here. Can you show me how angry you are? We'd also, we'd also like to know one thing. Why is it that closets are always portals? Is it because you're coming out of the closet? Is that what's happening? Like, I really don't understand that. Why are closets always portals? Everywhere we go, there's always a portal in the closet. <laughs> don't know. Right? Is there something evil here? Right now. Feel okay? Feels different in there, yeah, right? It's, it's just like, it's like, it's like uncomfortable. Yeah. Can you knock over these laundry baskets again? Please? That'd be really cool. Yeah, I heard a lot about this place and you guys really haven't done much. And I also heard that you don't like to be antagonized. Nothing. It's just gone completely quiet all of a sudden. I mean, other than like a really, really shitty vibe. It is, right? <laughs> it's very odd. I'm gonna grab the uh, spirit. Actually, you know what? I'll use the uh, microphonic. have a uh, device here you can use to communicate with us again. You want to talk to us? It said black. Remember what she said? There's, some, there's an entity here that calls itself black. That's literally the only name it has. Is the Is black here with us? something moving, right? Something like was it to your left? Who controls the entrance to the portal? Me. Who? It was me. Dude, it literally just fucking said my name. Jesus Christ. Really? Yeah. Like, clear as day. It said something and then it said Angelo. How do you know my name? That's where it just said Frank. Frank's not here. He went home.
Alright, we're gonna head over to the graveyard now where the bodies are. Maybe maybe you can meet us there? We'll see. Alone? Like, we we'll, will we'll see you there. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> we will we will be there. We will we'll, we'll be alone. It'll be just us two. No. What do you mean no? Are there eleven bodies buried in the graveyard? <laughs> it's like whispering. Yes, sir. Yes. How did they die? Alright, we're coming over. What the huh? hell? That was just weird. Okay, we're heading over. So we're actually uh, heading back, all the way in the back, literally towards where these mounds are, where there are believed to be graves. <clears throat> we don't know if they're like right where those mounds are or somewhere nearby, but apparently they did find a body once here or like nearby kind of on the property. And uh, there should be about 11 bodies. So we're gonna go there and uh, do a little bit of investigation, bringing the Ovilus with us. Uh, try that other app that we used earlier. I think it's called Spirit Talker. I've never used that app before, but it seemed really, really accurate. And we got a name that's apparently been heard here before. So let's go. And we do also gotta be careful because apparently Bergen, the town that we are currently in or nearby, has a lot of rattlesnakes. <laughs> Which, uh, if you guys know my experience with rattlesnakes, they're not exactly uh, fun to deal with, so we do gotta be kind of careful. Chad, where'd you go? Is it back there? Oh boy. Going into the bush in the middle of the frickin' night. It is uh, very, very late now. Is it over there? Right here. Oh, shit. okay. Whew. I'm turning the Spirit Talker app back on. Dude, it is so, creepy out here. This thing was pretty much over. Got the uh, Ovilus. Maybe we'll run both at the same time. If you have it. Oh, uh, yeah. Cute. Mike. All right. I just got a name, Mike. Mike. Yeah. All right. That's, um, her, that's her son's name. Is it? <laughs> yeah. When he drove up before you guys got here. Oh, he introduced himself as Mike. I never spoke to him, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah. My memory's horrible, but I think his name was Mike. What the hell just moved behind us? What the. F I asked what moved behind us and it said big. Like big? She screams. She screams. Who screams? For ice cream? You know what's funny? That tree yeah. is right there. It said big? Yeah. So that Oh, that's true. He's talking about the tree that got knocked over right here. It was weird how it said it too. It's like big. He said, uh... I had a Bigfoot knocked over this tree right here. Got Shepherd. Let's wait for it to focus. There we go. Can we hear you scream? We'd like to know what's out here. Whether it's Bigfoot or... Forest. Forest. Did it just say forest? It says forest. Yeah, look. Wow. That's crazy because I'm like, we'd like to know what's out here, and it just says forest. We're in the forest. We're <laughs> we are in the forest. in the forest. What's in the forest exactly?
Is there something dangerous out here? Was she not telling? Hmm? Your name. Your name. What is my name? So. It's like drums. You didn't hear that? No. I might have caught it maybe on camera. Just stay quiet for a second. Let's see if we can hear it again. I'm hearing it like off in the distance. It sounds like it's coming from that direction. It literally sounded like, almost like native drums or something. There's something moving around over there. Who's out here with us? getting any relevant phrases. That was weird though. It's like some native drums or something. It says demand help. Someone, someone, it said demand help. Bro, it said help so many times so far. Yeah. A bunch today. Who wants help? Slur. Slur. You know what's funny? Mm -hmm. Stay here. Stay here? Why? There's something like moving. I feel like I'm being watched by something literally over there. Is there a Bigfoot out here? Is there something watching us? Potential grow? Potential grow? Tell me right now who is out here. Grandpa reveal. Poem Grandpa Reveal. That's crazy. It's not just me here. Holy shit. It's not just me here. Who's here with us? Come on. I said, who's out here? And it goes, it's not just me here. That's so fucking weird on so many levels. What was that? What'd you hear? Oh, what is that? I just heard, like, st something coming from over there. Yeah. Let's, we should probably back out of here for... What's What's over there? I heard something like legit growling or some sort of noise. Hmm. Snarl or something. Tell so me, if man. If it's not just you here, then who else is here? We are literally about to become the hunted. There's something moving over here now. I'm gonna go this way. This is uh, this is just 
freaking creepy. I'm literally getting like just super nervous inside that forest. Necessary. Old walk necessary. What the? Text. What the f is that, bro? What? Race. Bro, there was there was something there. Where? You're right next to me. Like, I don't know. I saw eyes for a second, like looking in your direction. Come this way, dude. There might be something there. Let's uh, really? let's yeah, let's step back from there for a second. Holy shit! What the f was that? Me out. I just got a name, Grace. There's Troop Wolf Grace. Maybe there's a wolf in there. Maybe that's what I saw really staring possible. right at you, and that's not good. No. <laughs> I'm very lonely here. Are you stuck here? Okay, there's something moving over here now. You're very lonely here. I'm telling you, man. But there's 11 of you here, right? Well, 11 bodies. Norman? 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 I'm pretty sure I heard Gary. 40? There's 40 spirits? Or entities, spirits combined? How many how many total entities are there? Is it forty? Well, Jesus Christ, huh? That might have just been them. Maybe. Should uh Gale. Let's just go check. <laughs> what does that mean? Gale? G A O L? Ew. What does that even mean? I've heard that word before. I think it's like... What the f*** was that? I'm telling you, bro, I kept hearing something coming from over here. <laughs> this is like... This is no joke out here, man. This is kind of crazy. Yeah. You're hearing sounds out here? You heard drums? Put someone in jail? A place for the confinement of people accused or convicted of a crime. Oh, that's weird, because it said arrest earlier. That's right. That's, uh, interesting. Alright, if you're in the woods, make a really loud noise for me right now. Play. Play? Are you playing with us? Is this a game for you? I feel like something's like toying with us in there. What are you? Are you human? Or are you not human? Victoria. Victoria. There's a lot of names coming through. Victoria. Victoria, are you one of the 11 buried out here? Victoria, are you the one that's free? Nice. 
Did it just say she screams again? Uh, yeah, second time. That's so weird. Scream for us if you need help so we can hear where you are. You sure talking? No, you heard talking? Yes. Something just like took a step over here. Did you say that they see like full bodied figures literally yeah, just walking around? I'm waiting for one to just kind of like pop up for us. That was a goose. What was the story that Kathy was telling before about? What? Like they were having a campfire out here. Mm hmm. And. Footstep. Dude. Didn't you just say something? I was heard walking? a footstep literally like in this general area, like on the grass. It literally sounded as somebody. Footstep. Somebody walked in the grass. I feel like they're like trying to lead us into that area and we've been told that area is dangerous because you you will fall into a sewer. What so. So yeah. So I guess. I'm trying to make sh uh, she screams make sense because uh, Kathy was telling a story about how they were having a campfire right over here and they literally heard a little girl screaming and then a, an older guy oh right and they went to go look and they didn't screamed back at her they yeah. didn't find anybody fire. we're lost here Coat. soon fire bro you literally just talked about a campfire I did, yeah. yeah it yeah. literally says fire on it says the... says fire? Yeah. Right on the screen there. That's wild. So accurate tonight. Yeah. This right? is This is it right here. I think you can still see it. Alright, maybe we should go do like one last rendezvous uh, at the... Yeah, right there. Hmm. See? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. We literally walked right past it and she was talking about so, it. So, yeah, the story was that... She had her friends here, and they literally heard a girl scream, and then an older guy screamed at the little girl, and her friends literally just bounced out. Very weird. So I think maybe we'll do like one last rendezvous, maybe at the barn? I'm not sure, but uh, we have gotten quite a bit tonight, so it's been a pretty successful run. You want to head back to the barn? We could try these two things. We're getting responses. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> it said begin. <laughs> begin? Yeah. I'm not sure what's beginning, but... Feel free to come join us over there. Whew, i turn this around because I literally cannot see anything. That's even uh, in front of me. Alright, figured uh, might as well do one last little... Parlay here in the creepy barn. <laughs> Back to the barn. Back to the barn. So apparently a lot of stuff happens here in the barn. I just want to see maybe if we get anything. Wrong action fate. Is there anybody here in this barn that wishes to uh, talk to us? Where? Children are playing? In the barn here? Who was that? It's kind of like something was like tapping the back of the... Behind here. Don't provoke us. See, that's what you get. Don't provoke us. That's what you get, Chad, for trying to provoke them. See, they're pissed off at you now. They don't like that. They did. She did mention specifically that they don't like to be antagonized here. She did say that. She yes. did say that. And you know what? I've been antagonizing. Yeah. I was antagonizing. A little bit. You've yeah. been good the whole night, and then <laughs> that one last second, you're like, "Oh, let me try this." Yeah. Well, when I was in the room <clears throat> with the uh, with the uh, levitating bed. Yeah. 
I was definitely antagonizing them. <laughs> Private. 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 See, you were in their bed. They don't like that. What happens if I provoke you? Then what? What are you going to do to me? I'm sort of hearing something like moving over here. Hello? Jasper. Jasper? Jasper. You're hearing walking? Them? No, it's no it sounded like it was from above us. Demand what? Where the hell is that coming from? That is above us, right? That's what it sounds like. I don't know. Are you the children playing, but on the roof? Let's see if there's anything up there. How the hell would anybody even get up there? Ritual. Oh no, I just debunked it. I think it's the dog in the camper. I think he's just walking around. Okay, we're gonna go now. Since apparently uh, the barn people don't want to talk to us. Yeah. yeah. Maybe you don't like Chad's hat. <laughs> <laughs> Mary. 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 She. What, now you want to talk to us? Right she when we're about said to go? The the middle name mm -hmm. of the lady who hung herself was Mary. Oh, really? Whoa. Dude. It just said elemental. She mentioned that there was an elemental here at one point. That's wild. Dude, this has been like seriously like super accurate. Sorry that you had to hang yourself. Should be scared. What the? Of what? Should be scared? Why do you want us to be scared? What are you going to do? Are you going to throw something? Speak. Speak. I am speaking. What are we supposed to be scared of? Maybe whatever was just walking in that bush? Uh... I heard something in the bush over there. No, that's wrong. No, that's wrong? <laughs> no, that's You said you heard somebody walking in the bush. Okay, so what did I hear? Feel free to let us know. Something moving? You got about three minutes. Let us know. Mary. I know that was your middle name because Nancy told me. 
Kathy told you. Is that what I... Do I keep calling her Nancy? Yeah. I do. Because Nancy was one of the names that we got. Paul. <laughs> Paul. You're right, yeah. Nancy was the, the spirit box. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My bad. Why did you hang yourself? What happened? Day. Every, yeah. time, every time I put this back in my pocket, it goes off. <laughs> like literally. Scratch. Ooh, themselves. West. Scratch West. Scratch. Yeah. All right. One last chance before we go. You said picture. Picture. Oh. <laughs> I do need a break yep, until tomorrow, break. but uh, yeah, that's where I'm From ending. House. I'm gonna end off this video, guys, because uh, I've been getting quite a bit, really good responses. Um, it would have been nice to maybe get a little bit more um, or stay even longer, but fortunately, these guys got to get to bed. They were uh, nice enough to let us into their home. Literally, they live here, <laughs> so uh, yeah, it was uh, pretty freaking awesome. Um, go and follow my friends, Chad and Brother Frank, and uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Love ya. Bye-bye.